Elon Musk is an engineer and best known for co-founding PayPal, SpaceX and Tesla Motors. So it's safe to say that Elon Musk is an intelligent human being. But even himself suffered from an existential crisis and couldn't find the answer for the meaning of life. He asked the questions, why am I here? And why something rather than nothing? If you live your life without answering these questions correctly, you'll for sure end up in nihilism and get sucked in hedonism. When I was uh, a teenager, I had like an existential crisis to try to figure out what's the meaning of life. There doesn't seem to be any meaning. Um, for me, at least, the religious texts, and I read all of them that I get my hands on, did not seem convincing. So then I'm like, okay. Then I started reading the philosophers. You know, be careful of like reading German philosophers as a teenager. It's definitely not going to help with your depression. <laughs> now, as an adult, it's much more manageable. But uh, as a kid, you're like, whoa. So then I was like, man, I'm just like struggling to find meaning in life here. And, and then I read uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And basically what Douglas Adams was saying is that we don't really know what the right questions are to ask. Like the question is not uh, what's the meaning of life. The real problem is, is try trying to formulate the, the question. So Elon Musk claims that he didn't find the answer, so I'll assume that uh, he didn't read the Qur'an. The Qur'an answers the question of the meaning of life and the purpose of life explicitly in chapter 51 of the Qur'an. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. So Allah claims that the purpose of life is to worship him and to have a direct connection with God Almighty. And some skeptics will say, how can you prove Allah? That's the power of the Qur'an. The Qur'an is the only religious text that claims it's from God and also tries to prove itself by logical evidences and challenging the intellect of the reader. For example, Allah addresses the atheists in the Qur'an and challenges them. Or were they created by nothing? Or were they the creators of themselves? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Rather, they are not certain. Kalam cosmological argument that the philosophers use, be it Christians or Muslims, is based on this verse. And there is nothing better than the arguments of Allah in the Quran. So Allah is asking the atheists were they created from nothing? The logical answer should be no. Because nothing is the absence of everything. So how can nothing cause the creation of the universe? And nothing doesn't exist in the real world and it's just a concept. And then Allah says, or were they the creators of themselves? And to create yourself you need to exist and not exist at the same time. Which is absurd and illogical. Like brother Hamza Zor just says, can your mother give birth to herself? Same thing, the universe can't exist and not exist at the same time. It's an oxymoron and uh, an impossibility. And then Allah says, or did they create the heavens and the earth? Same thing, if they didn't exist in the first place, how can they cause the creation of the universe? Again, it's an absurd proposition. And lastly, Allah says, rather, they are not certain. Indeed, if you speak to an atheist or an agnostic, you'll understand that they have no certainty. And they try to manipulate and use science as comfort. But they don't even understand that science Science isn't an entity that exists by itself, but science is done by human beings. And it's a beautiful human tool to use to try and understand the questions of how, but science can't answer the questions of why. That's why during the Islamic civilization you'll find Muslim scholars are both religious scholars and scientists, like Ibn Rushd, Al-Kindi, and Ibn Sina and others. To recap the Quranic argument, if the universe didn't come from nothing and didn't create itself, and wasn't created from something else that is created. Therefore, the only logical answer left is the universe was created from something uncreated. After the atheists accept the existence of God, the next question they come up with is uh, why one God and not more? Well, Allah also answers this question in chapter 21 of the Quran. Had there been within the heavens and earth gods beside Allah, they both would have been ruined. So exalted is Allah, Lord of the throne, above what they describe. Subhanallah, Allah addresses the fine-tuning of the universe. And because the universe follows a certain order, it must be only one creator. Imagine if a car has two steering wheels and two persons are driving the car. Person A wants to go left and the person B wants to go right. Is the car going left or right? If the car goes left, then God A is the true God. And if it goes right, then uh, God B is the true God. The one that has power over the other is the one true God. Therefore, it's illogical to believe that there is more than one God when the universe is constant and fine-tuned. And now the atheists accept the existence of one true God and will ask the question why Islam and not Christianity or other religion. Well, for the same reason you accept there is only one God. Because Islam is the only monotheistic religion in the world. And Christianity, for example, believe in the concept of Trinity and that Jesus is God. And Allah addresses that in chapter 5 of the Quran. The Messiah, son of Mary, was not but a messenger. Other messengers have passed on before him. And his mother was a supporter of truth. They both used to eat food. Look how we make clear to them the signs. Then look how they are deluded. Allah points to the fact that Jesus and his mother, peace be upon them both, used to eat food. 
therefore they were dependent and God is independent by definition therefore Jesus cannot be God and that's how Allah refused the concept of the Trinity in Christianity and then the atheists will submit and proclaim there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is the servant and messenger of Allah. That's why it's absurd to me that a person like Elon Musk couldn't find the answers when it's in front of him and clear in the Quran. Just pick up the Quran and read for yourselves. If you want a free copy of the Quran, you can click the link in the description. And you can click here if you want to watch another video. Don't forget to subscribe for daily uploads. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.